the flick of the tail. In the feline world, it can mean many things. And in today's material, it'll be my job to tell you all about it. Some of the reasons, well, they're probably what you'd think, while others could potentially have you a bit miffed. Sort of like when your favorite baseball team has a banner year, only to get bounced in the playoffs in the first round. L-O-L. <laughs> the flick of the tail, the wag of the tail. What is your cat trying to tell you? Well, it's time to crack the code. Fun topic, and I've got you covered. Stay tuned. That body language, your cat's body language, if you are a regular around these parts, you know that's a hot topic. The ability to read your cat, those cues, those silent cues, well, they can crack the code to several mysteries, that's for sure. Is your cat happy, mad, sad, angry, hungry? Body language, or in this case, that tail, it can be a great communication tool. The hidden meanings. If you've ever seen the movie A Christmas Story, First of all, raise your hand. <laughs> the holiday classic. Remember when Ralphie got that decoder in the mail only to find out the message was simply to encourage him to drink more Ovaltine. Yeah, what a bummer. Yeah, not every message your cat will send uh, will be riveting, but it will be nonetheless uh, good to know. So those little tail flicks, what do they mean? Let's first start off with that quick flick. Almost sounds like some type of board game from the 1980s. The lower portion of the tail seemingly to have a mind of its own, the quick flick. The swish, 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 swish. Not much of a rhythm involved, almost the tail equivalent of a firm head shake and disgust. Well, that's actually not too far off. The lower tail flick is a sign that your cat is quite unhappy, rather frustrated. And in a perfect world, they'd probably love it if you just take a few steps back. When cats aren't pleased, just generally speaking, that quick swish of the tail, it can speak volumes without your cat making a sound. Next up, what about fear? Your cat is afraid, scared of thunder, the fireworks, a stranger in the home. You've got a guest. Your cat has no idea who that person is. If that's the case, your pet could lower that tail. Almost like an old station wagon with too much vacation luggage in the trunk. You kids out there are probably thinking, did he say station wagon? Yeah, you can Google station wagon right after this video to see what it is or what it was. Cats that are scared will often cower make themselves attempt to appear smaller, the lowering of the tail with the wag. This is many times a sign of uneasiness and fear. What about that middle area, the gray area of the two? Your cat isn't happy, your cat isn't afraid, but what if your cat is just sort of fed up? Just tired of the scene, somewhat annoyed, well, similar to the quick swish of unhappiness. Cats that are, that are just a bit put off, let's say, will adopt a slower back and forth motion, slower back and forth. Just a sort of a steady but slow back and forth. Watch that motion in your cat's ears, that slightly pinned back ear, or ears. They'll probably tell the story of a cat that is about to enter the realm of unhappiness and even more and more frustration. Felines that aren't getting their way, watch for the slower back and forth whip of the tail. Okay, we've covered the general negatives, just the general negatives, but there'll be more. But what about when those good times start to roll? Of course, they'll always start to roll eventually, right? Does your cat grab the tail and swing it around? What are... What are we talking about here? Does your cat have some sort of a party tail to wave around? Let's start with what I'll call uh, happily anxious. If your cat is ready for playtime, that quick back and forth will come back, but not to be confused with the lower flick. This is pretty much it, the whole tail. This involves the entire tail. Have you ever seen your cat stalk and hunt, but while in a playful mood? That tail will do a little dance before whatever object is uh, being captured, a toy is being captured. The party time tail. It's full of life, full of expression, easily visible and in motion by design. I guess the best example of the party time tale, or one of them, would be that meme with Shaquille O'Neal, you know, the one where he shakes his shoulders. I think it's icy hot. Could be wrong about that, but that's where the commercial originates. But you see the cat in stalk mode do the body and tail shimmy. If you know, you know. When cats get excited like this, in addition to the entire tail flick, be mindful of some fast twitches. Almost like the tail is one of those pop-up snake toys. <laughs> Maybe a slinky. And since I mentioned stalking and hunting, and you see this one quite often in the wild, it's more or less the pounce that I just mentioned. However, this fast twitch of the tail, uh, it's more based in concentration than playtime. The focus swish. Your cat is at bat. Your cat is at the free throw line with a game at stake. <laughs> when your cat is engaged in that moment, the quick swish will be present. 
If your cat is hiding behind a tree waiting for that mouse, watch for a shaky or twitchy type tail motion. It's a sign of intense concentration. Your pet is at work, and there's a job to do. Another tail wagging form of communication is the wrap. Not a burrito, but a wrap, a wrap around in this case. Has your cat ever attempted to wrap that tail around your leg, your arm? This is a sign of affection. Think of it as a hug. It's not too much unlike the headbutt, but, you know, with the other end. <laughs> and before I close things out for this video, let's briefly talk about, unfortunately, anger and pain. The intense negatives. Cats that are more annoyed, uh, more than annoyed and just downright angry with that tail will uh, be like as tall as a skyscraper and fluffed out, about as fluffed as it can get. It's a symbol of true expression when a cat's angry. Think of an old schoolyard bully with the chest out, trying to intimidate you with their appearance alone. Cats that are mad and looking to tangle, the flick of the tail turns into a fluff up. It could look cute, but I'd stand down if I were you. Now let's talk about pain and illness. When cats are feeling unwell, it's common for a cat to almost use the tail like a stick that drags across the ground. The tail is just sort of along for the journey, not quite active. Some cats will even tuck the tail, uh, acting if it's just not part of the program anymore. Cats that are ill often send the weakened tail signal as a sign of distress. On the flip side, some cats that are ill will adopt a strong tail wag while lying down on the sofa, for example. If they're unwell, this is almost like an SOS distress signal. If your cat is resting, yet waving the tail all around while also acting lethargic, but otherwise, this could be a cause for concern. Pay very close attention and be proactive if this behavior continues. And finally, ending things on a lighter note, we have the dream tail. Cats, when those dreams are good, well, that tail can become part of the feature presentation. Additionally, some cats, while attempting to sleep, will use the tail in a swishing motion, uh, just a quick swish, as a way to respond to something that you've said. If your cat is about to nap and you call their name, a meow might not be in the cards, but a uh, tail wag, that could be what you get. In return, in that moment, <laughs> to the audience of Senior Cat Wellness, have you, have you, mastered your cat's tail wagging playbook? Do you know what every motion means? Can you read your cat like a good quarterback can read a defense? A tail wagging is just another important part of body language. And as I stated earlier, the more you know, the more you can really crack the code and understand what your pet's trying to tell you. Your stories, general commentary, any unique tail wags that your cat does to get your, just you, your personal attention. Does your cat have a certain wag while watching these videos? <laughs> when they're playing, uh, what wag is your, is your cat doing in the, in the moment? The comments section, as always, it's all yours. And if you enjoy this content, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you as a member of the Senior Cat Wellness family. And until next time, thank you so very much for watching, and I will talk to you later.